Just a few short years ago, had I been standing right here, I would have been smack dab in front of the old flagship hotel, one of Galveston Island's most historic landmarks, a grand old structure that was built on a pier that hung out over the Gulf of Mexico. Then Hurricane Ike changed all that, and the flagship hotel was no more. But the pier is still here, along with a new landmark. The historic flagship hotel opened its doors in 1965, jutting out 1,100 feet into the Gulf. But long before the flagship graced the coastline, this pier was already a landmark. It was called the Pleasure Pier. Built in the 1940s in the style of New York's Coney Island and California's Santa Monica Piers, Galveston's Pleasure Pier was the largest amusement park of its kind. Then, in 1961, Hurricane Carla destroyed it, leading the way for the flagship's construction and its eventual demise by Hurricane Ike in 2008. <laughs> Today, the original Pleasure Pier concept is back. Definitely a throwback, and when you come on the pier, you'll get that nostalgia feel. Back in the 50s, this was an amusement pier, complete with rides and dive shows and drive-in movies, and uh, we've simulated a lot of that with the modern-day uh, swing to it with the different rides we have on now. And we've brought the, the family fun and excitement back to the pier and to Galveston. Mark Kane is in charge of this new family fun park where you can ride rides, play games, eat, and just take in all the excitement no matter what your age or level of thrill-seeking might be. It's the brainchild of restaurateur Tillman Fertitta, who has been instrumental in bringing Galveston back from Ike's devastation. Mr. Fertitta is all about destinations. He understands that people like to dine and play near the water, and many of our uh, resort-style statements are, uh, are near the water. We've got 16 rides and we've got something for everybody. Kitty sections, family thrill rides, and then some iconic uh, thrill rides like the Iron Shark, the Pirate's Pudge, the tallest swing ride in Texas, the Texas Star Flyer, and a giant uh, Galaxy Ferris wheel. It's 100 feet tall with an outstanding light package. Galveston, Texas has endured more than its share of storms that have knocked it to its knees, but once again, this resilient city is back. The Galveston Pleasure Pier is once again leading the way, with Texas hospitality welcoming tourists from around the world. And obviously, this is, we are going to be a significant economic engine for the, uh, the city of Galveston. There's nothing else on the seawall for families to do at night. Now they have a great family place to come at night and probably is going to start be the start of some more things like this. <laughs> <laughs>